Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can automatically add new WooCommerce order to your Airtable. Here, WooCommerce and Airtable are two different applications and there is no direct connection between WooCommerce and Airtable. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Pabli Connect. So that whenever an order is updated in WooCommerce, Pabli Connect will automatically create record in Airtable. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with an example and learn the whole process. Okay, so this is my WooCommerce and here this is the product section here. I'm going to place an order and I'm going to update it. And this is my WooCommerce order table or order base in this air table. Here this is the table and this is the view. Okay, so here what we are doing, we are updating an order in WooCommerce and Pabli Connect will automatically create record in this air table in this base. Okay, so here I'm going to this product section and I'm going to buy something here. And that is, suppose, this captain or this camera. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to add it to cart. Okay. And I'm going to just scroll it down. Okay, add to cart. Okay, so here I'm going to update the cart. That is, I'm adding the quantity as 2. Okay. Now I'm going to update cart. Okay. So it is proceed to checkout. Okay. okay now here billing details okay so here i'm going to add the billing details and here i've already added one but just i'm changing the email address okay so this is shreya jen at the rate gmail.com okay so here have a look at the this detail okay so this is the first name this is the last name and this is the company name and yeah this is the state pin code phone and this is the email address okay so i'm going to place the order and i'm going to see in this air table record whether we have created record or not okay so here i'm going to place order Okay, so we have successfully done with this. Now I'm going to this air table and we'll see whether we receive the detail of this order of this updated order or not. Okay, so here air table. Okay, so here in the WooCommerce order base, this order table, we have received this record that we have created this record with the information that we received from WooCommerce. Okay, about the order updated. Okay, so this is the detail and the record has been created. So that's what we are doing. Like we are connecting WooCommerce and Airtable in a manner that whenever a new order is updated, create a new record in Airtable. Okay. So here to initiate the process, I'm typing pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y, that is P-A-B-B-L-Y dot com. Okay, so here press enter. And this is the site of Pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. Okay, this is a landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to click on sign in. As I've already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. So this is my account. And here I'm going to click on connect access now. Okay, that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here we have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button. So just click on it and here you have to name your workflow. So I'm giving it name as WooCommerce to Airtable. Okay, so now click on connect, create, sorry. And this is the name of your workflow. Okay, so here whenever you click on create, these two windows will appear. This is known as trigger window and this is known as action window. So I'll tell you about these two windows. First, let me tell you that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so these two windows. So you might be thinking what is this trigger window or what is this action window or what is trigger or what is action. So let me tell you when we talk about automation in public connect it works on the concept of trigger and action trigger says when this happens action says do this suppose in this use case whenever a new order is updated in woocommerce is a trigger 
create record in air table will be action of this whole process okay so for the trigger window we are going to choose a trigger application that is woocommerce so woocommerce okay this is okay so here the application is woocommerce and now i'm going to choose a trigger event okay so the trigger event is order updated so just search for it okay so this is order updated okay so we have done with this trigger event and we will find this webhook url okay so we have to follow these steps in what manner we have to connect our woocommerce to pably connect okay we are sending the data from woocommerce to pably connect first then pably connect will send it to airtable in this manner we are going to make a connection okay so this webhook url will be helpful in connecting woocommerce and pably connect okay so here i'm going to just click on this copy button before that i'm going to this product sec sorry the settings section here i'm going to click on just woocommerce and here the settings okay okay so here i'm going to click on this advanced section over here and here this webhooks now here add webhook okay now here name of webhook so i'm just adding at wucom okay and the status should be this active okay now here the topic is order updated so here order updated okay this is okay so here delivery url now which url that same url which we found in this public connect trigger window okay so this is the url we have to copy it and here in the settings section of this url adding here i'm going to just paste it okay now secret and api version would remain same here i'm going to save this webhook okay just okay this is save webhook and we are saving webhook and here the response will be received here it is waiting for webhook response already so here the response is received as id okay so this is the id of webhook so here in the woocommerce setting section it is saved okay now here i'm going back to this public connect and here i'm going to recapture this webhook response yes and i'm going to update the product okay so here i'm going to just buy this uh, suppose this chumbak watch okay okay and here i'm going to add the quantity as 2 okay and update cart okay now here proceed to checkout the total amount is 3000 okay so proceed to checkout and here i have already filled the details of this customer particularly so this is first name gary last name monroe this is the company name this is the country street address town state and everything is filled here so i'm just going to place order here okay okay so order is received okay so now i'm going back to this public connect tab and here i'm going to wait for the response okay so it is waiting for webhook response and it will capture the details of that order updation okay okay so here we received the response and don't panic if it takes one to two minutes okay so here we have received the response and these these are the details of that order and here we are going to send these details to our air table so here we have received them from woocommerce to pably connect now we are sending them from pably connect to airtable okay so here in the action window i'm going to use a filter why because i'm just showing you about the status okay so the status is processing so we want the processing orders to be captured in that airtable record okay so i'm going to add a filter here and here in the action window I'm going to use this filter by Pably, or you can just simply type that filter by Pably. Okay. Okay. So here we are adding a condition like when condition matches, then only proceed the next steps. Okay. So here I'm going to add a label as that is status processing okay and here equal to so it is filter types here you can choose any of that you want and you should make sure that your condition must be true here okay so here i'm going to add as processing okay so when this condition matches like i'm going to click on save and send test request 
okay so condition is true that means when this condition matches then only proceed the next step that means add the data in a table okay so here the filter is added now i'm going to add another action window and here i'm going to choose a table this time okay so here in the action window i'm going to choose a table okay this one okay now action event is create record okay now click on connect and here you will be requiring tokens so you can follow this instruction or you can simply just uh, click on this account section and you will reach to this page and here you have to just copy this key okay so just copy it and here in the public connect tab just paste it here okay now click on save okay so we have successfully connected Airtable to public connect now here all these details or all these fields that means base id table name channel and these these will be according to your air table so here i'm going back to this woocommerce order base in my air table and this is my table woocommerce order and these are the fields so i want these fields to be visible there so for that what you have to do you have to just select select your base first and that is woocommerce order okay so here okay this is woocommerce order and here the table name will be automatically visible okay so here i have only one table that's why it is showing you it will be showing number of table that you will have in your particular base okay so i have only this table like this one that's why it is showing that only okay so here in this section all the table name product name order id that will be visible according to your table fields okay so i have these fields that means product name order id customer name customer email amount and quantity order okay so here going back to public connect and here i'm going to map the data which data this same data okay so here we are sending these details to Airtable in order to make a connection okay so here i'm going to add the data and product name is here i can just simply type okay so this is the name of the product okay so here you can just map it and in the drop down all the details will be visible of the above window so you can just simply map here okay so here i'm going to add the order id so the order id is just above the this window only okay and here i'm going to add the customer name so customer name is first name gary and space and second name sorry last name okay this is monroe so we have added the customer name now here customer email okay here you can simply search for it that is email okay so this is the email and here in the amount section you have to add the total so here i'm going to add the total amount okay so this is the total okay sorry not this one actually this one total one okay this is the total okay wonderful now scroll it down more and here you have to add the quantity so the quantity is basically so this is the quantity too okay so now we are done with the details in these fields now i'm going to click on save and send test request okay and these details will be sent to this woocommerce order table in this view okay so here i'm going back to this public connect and here i'm going to click on save and send test request okay so response received that means we have successfully sent details to woocommerce orders base in Airtable. okay so i'm going to save it okay and now i'm going back to this woocommerce order base in Airtable. okay so we have received all the details here this is the product name this is the order id customer name customer email amount and quantity order okay so everything is visible here that means we have successfully sent the data from woocommerce to Airtable. okay through public connect now i'm going back to this public connect tab and here i'm minimizing the window and will be showing you and summarizing you what i have done okay so here just minimizing it okay so here we have 
made this workflow that is WooCommerce to Airtable. And here, what we have done, we have made a connection between WooCommerce and Airtable through Pabli Connect. First, we have collected the data from WooCommerce to Pabli Connect, and then we have sent the data from Pabli Connect to Airtable. Okay, here in the middle, we have added this filter because if we creating, if we are creating the order or if we are updating the order, everything will be in the processing section. So here, I'm going to just add. Uh, sorry, I'm just added this processing status, and here the value is processing. Okay, here the filter type you can choose any of that you want according to your condition. Okay, so here we have added filter, and if this condition matches, then only it will create record in this Airtable. Okay, so here we have connected WooCommerce with Airtable. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that sometimes Airtable may require one minutes, two minutes, or sometimes more to take the response. So don't panic; your details will arrive definitely. And not just these two software, you can integrate multiple application and automate your business with Pabli Connect. Link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is given in the description box. For any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli dot com. A D M I N at the rate p a b b l y dot com. And if you really found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.